relationships can be very tricky to navigate, especially when you are a superstar with millions of fans watching your every move. From diss tracks that top the charts to heated online arguments and songs that were straight up upsetting, these are top 10 pop stars that reminded us that hell hath no fury like an angry celebrity ex. Make sure you stick around to the end. You don't want to miss the juicy deets about Miley and Liam Hemsworth's recent breakup. Shakira The queen of pop, Shakira, has taken the music world by storm with her latest release, a Spanish diss track aimed at her ex-boyfriend, Gerard Piquet. Known for her catchy songs and her signature hip-shaking moves, Shakira has now been dubbed the Queen of Petty for the way she's throwing shade at Piquet's new girlfriend, Clara Chiamardi. The diss track, which was released on January 11th, is believed to refer to her 12-year relationship with him. The song is said to take a swipe at Marty, who happens to be 23 years old and is rumored to have begun dating Piquet last year while they were still together. In the song, Shakira takes a jab at Marty's age by saying, I am worth two of 22, referring to the age difference between them. She also addresses Piquet's infidelity and how it contributed to the end of their relationship, singing that she gave so much to someone who acted like a champion, but when she needed him, he gave her his worst version. Adding to the drama, there were rumors that Shakira had a terrifying life-size witch doll on her balcony and was screaming the lyrics of the song while blasting it at full volume from her balcony. Whether true or not, it's creepy, right? Olivia Rodrigo you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. We all know Olivia Rodrigo's breakout single, Driver's License, that became a viral sensation in 2021. The song tells the story of a love triangle involving two former Disney stars and was written in the aftermath of her split with her ex, Joshua Bassett, a former high school musical co-star. The song was written with TikTok culture in mind, and the first line, I received my driver's license last week, was taken directly from Olivia's diary. The song was a huge success, breaking records on Spotify and earning her numerous award nominations. However, Joshua, who many believed the song was about, revealed that the stress of the situation led him to be hospitalized with septic shock. He said that he felt his heart literally failing because of the negative attention he received. Taylor Swift Taylor Swift's song, All Too Well, and its accompanying short film has long been speculated to be about her ex-boyfriend Jake Gyllenhaal. The song mentions a red scarf, which fans believed belonged to him. However, Taylor has since clarified that the red scarf is a metaphor and that the color red was chosen because it's significant to the album named Red. The almost 15-minute short film Taylor wrote, directed, and produced stars Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien as stand-ins for Taylor and Jake. It was created to go along with the song and depict a version of their relationship. The film ends with an older version of Sadie's character, who also has red hair, appearing and being Taylor herself. Justin Bieber My mama don't like you, she likes everyone. Oh baby, you should go and love yourself. Since Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber's on and off eight year relationship ended in March 2018, many speculated that the couple was guilty of airing their grievances through music. One song in particular, Love Yourself, released in 2015, had fans wondering if it was directed towards Selena. The song's lyrics, which criticize a narcissistic ex lover for making the protagonist feel tiny, implies that she's rained on Justin's parade and was disliked by his mother. However, he insists that the song wasn't written with the intention of getting back at his ex, but no one really believed him at the time. In the song, Justin sings. And I didn't want to write a song because I didn't want anyone thinking I still care. I don't, but you still hit my phone up, causing many to think the song must really be for Selena, especially after Selena released her single, Lose You to Love Me. You promised the world and I fell for it. I made it to lose you to love me. Yeah. However, this all happened a while ago, and since then the two artists have grown to be better individuals in general. Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato is a popular and amazing pop music star. Famous for catchy tunes and irresistible beats, the star took the stage when she released a new breakup song, 29, that is believed to be a diss towards her ex, Wilmer Valderrama. The lyrics, written from her perspective at the age she was when they first met, hinted at a relationship that was not consensual and that they were not mature enough to handle. Demi has not confirmed that the song is about Wilmer, whom she dated from 2010 to 2016, but in an interview after his engagement, she stated that they had not spoken in a long time and that the split had allowed her to learn to be okay on her own. In the song, she sang lines like, Finally 29. Funny, just like you were at the time. Thought it was a teenage dream. Just a fantasy. But was it yours or was it mine? Amen. You played me. You even gave me 
before 2004's effort, I Don't Want You Back, American artist Eamon Doyle, aka Eamon, was largely unknown. But his 2004 hit song, F It, I Don't Want You Back, put him on the map and earned him a Guinness World Record for most expletives in a number one song. The Cussfield track, which details a bitter breakup, was a global hit and even had an Italian version titled Solo. However, a woman named Frankie, who claimed to be the artist's ex, released her own song called F You Right Back in response, singing from a different perspective on the events. Eamon denied any romantic ties with Frankie and called the song terrible and nuts. It's unclear who Frankie really is, but the song was played alongside Eamon's original by New York radio station Z100 after it was anonymously sent to them. Miley Cyrus I didn't want to leave you. I didn't want to lie. I can buy myself fly. Miley Cyrus, the iconic singer and songwriter known for her chart-topping hits and her role as Hannah Montana, has once again captured the hearts of fans with her latest release, Flowers. The song, which has a catchy tune and thought-provoking lyrics, is garnering attention not just for its sound, but also for its underlying meaning. With lyrics that seem to take aim at her ex-husband, Liam Hemsworth, the song references their relationship and the devastating California wildfire that burned down their Malibu home. Miley sings, We built a home and watched it burn hinting at the end of their relationship, which reportedly ended abruptly when Liam filed for a divorce a week after she had expressed her desire to work on their marriage. With a chorus that echoes Bruno Mars' When I Was Your Man, which Liam had originally dedicated to her, the song is a clear nod to the past. But with lyrics that claim she can love herself better than he ever could, the song also serves as a powerful anthem of self-empowerment and self-love. It has quickly become a popular TikTok trend, inspiring fans to embrace their own self-worth and move on from past relationships.